You don't think about your suction system until it breaks. And when it breaks, that's it. Close up shop, you're done. You're just re-cementing crowns. You can do no other dentistry. Well, I took some time to speak with an expert to learn a little bit more about this critical piece of machinery. So Gregory, you know, dentists probably don't pay enough attention to their suction systems until they start to not have as much power or go down. Uh, for someone that maybe hasn't looked at their suction system in the past 10, 20 years, can you give us an update on how this critical part of our practice functions and what kind of features should we look should we be looking for if we're going to invest in a new one? Well, the vacuum is the heart of the dental practice. Without that, the doctor can't really see patients, work on patients at all, or do any kind of surgery. So making sure that your vacuum is up and running is critical for any doctor. What we've created here is the new Mojave LT3 dry vacuum system. Now, this is completely waterless. We would take out the uh, most most of the times, a dry vacuum system requires a separation tank. We remove the tank altogether and replace it with a robust motor-driven air water separator you see over here. What this does is separates the fluids from the air and allows it to drain out without making any of the evacuate making its way to the air pump. The air pump spins really fast, it's very powerful, and it maintains a negative pressure at longer air flows. So the doctor has more negative pressure when he's working on his patients. It also has a lot of really cool features. For example, it works on a variable frequency drive like its older brother, the Mojave Classic Systems. So what that does is the air pump slows down and speeds up based on demand. So as more HVEs come online, this is gonna react directly to them, making sure that there's enough negative pressure to go around for, the, for how many pra uh, doctors are using it at one time. So traditionally, these units would operate at one single power level, regardless of how many suction units are on. Exactly, a typical liquid ring pump turns on all day long and uses the same amount of water and electric, regardless if you're using the HVs or not. So you're paying for all that electricity and water, even though you're not actually using the vacuum. What we've done here, along with our other products like the Mojave system, is this uses a variable frequency driver we call the VFD that regulates the airflow, make sure that you're not spending energy when you don't need to. It goes down to an idle mode when all the HVEs are closed. When the HVEs start to open up and there's more demand, it starts to ramp up to give the power when you need it. So there's a, a coarse strainer right here just to make sure that any debris that happens to get through, like your like a patient's wedding ring doesn't get caught, you can catch that before it goes to the pump. Fantastic. Really easy to get to. All the hose connections are rotatable for easy installation. Now this is a standard one inch and a half for the exhaust, inch and a half goes down to a one inch connection for the trunk line and a one inch drain. This is also our quick connect system so you can rotate it and send the plumbing any way or which direction you need to. Fantastic. If someone's going to be looking into it, buying a new system, what do they need? What are some of the key features that they should be asking their, their, their experts on? Well, if you want a vacuum system, you want something that's powerful, quiet, and compact. What we were able to do here is take the, the separation tank out of the system altogether, which allows us to clear up some really valuable mechanical room real estate. Yeah. You can see how small this is. This thing can fit into closets or even in cabinets, no problem. Talk to me about noise. That's one of the, the features that I think Dennis noticed very, very much. We want to have a quiet machine. We can't always pay for soundproofing in a room. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of times your vacuum system is really close to your operatories or even your offices. You want a system that's quiet. It's not going to uh, really uh, annoy some of your patients or even your workers. This is great because it uses our proprietary sound reducing impeller with offset vanes to make sure that this is a really quiet system, but is still just as powerful and really compact. So I can't help but notice this display screen here. That's very unique. I haven't seen that before. Tell me about that. Yeah, this is great. We took our Neo uh, multicolor touchscreen display and put it on our device here. So it gives you widgets that show exactly what's happening with the unit. This is obviously information that's a little too technical, but it's made for the technician so that they can go in and diagnose something really easy and see all the information right at a, at a glance. As I go through the different screens, it has things like the vacuum level, the, the, the pump frequency, the separator RPMs, the voltage, and even the temperature of the room. All these things are working together to make sure that the unit is operating properly and at its highest capacity That's at fantastic. all times. And when you're down, you want the technician to be able to come in and diagnose quickly. Absolutely. You don't want to be down for any long period of time. Not only that, this works and hooks up with an Ethernet connection to your front of office computers with our NeoPulse software system. This allows the front of office to know exactly what's going on with the unit right at their computer station. 
so that they don't have to walk into the mechanical room and see that their equipment is, is going, something going on with it. And they can get the, a technician on the phone. They can even possibly diagnose it themselves, make sure that the doctor is up and running as soon as possible.